Some players are still complaining about 545 AKs in Escape from Tarkov and that's why I'm going to show you today the best build for a pretty decent meta AK. Dear comrades, I'm in the German is back, glad to have you here and today I'm going to show you my best build for a 545 AK-74 in Escape from Tarkov. So as always you should grip any drink you like and let's start with the build. So this is my meta 545 AK build for Escape from Tarkov. As you can see we have 68 ergonomics and 45 vertical recoil. Of course you can boost the ergonomics a little bit more if you change the RK2 grip to the shift foregrip and as you can see right now we have 80 ergonomics. Let's talk about the magazines real quick. With the 60 round magazine we have still 64 ergonomics which is pretty damn good in my opinion for an AK and in my opinion the 60 round magazines are one of the best options for AKs. On top of that you can use AK-12 magazines. With the AK-12 magazines you have still 78 ergonomics but let's change the foregrip real quick because I'm playing the AK with the RK2 grip, 66 ergo with the AK12 12 mag and 52 ergo with the 60 round magazine. Why do I recommend the AK12 magazine? Because look at the stats in my opinion pretty good. I like to start with a 30 round magazines because if you have some scavs early on or whatever you can hunt them down, shoot them down really quick. You can reload your 30 round magazine because reload your 60 round magazine is a little bit horrible. Look at that 85 plus 85% load and unload modifier. That's why you can start with a 30 round mag, you can start with the 60 round mag, it really depends what you like. What you also can do, you can change the Scorpius grip to the RK3 as always, or right now the US Palm grip is also as good, the RK3 and the Scorpius, it's pretty decent, so you can have some very good grips if you want. On top of that, I wouldn't play 762 and 545 AKs with a suppressor, because as you can see right now, the stats are pretty bad. For 5.56 AKs, the stats with the suppressor are way better, so you can do that. But for 5.45 or 7.62 AKs, the JMAC muzzle break is really, really good. Furthermore, they changed the Tri Industries handguard with gas block right now. This is the best in slot. And it really depends if you play the AK-74N, you should go with the Zhukov stock and with the AK-74M, which is a little bit different, a little bit, just a little bit, a tiny bit worse compared to the AK-74N, you can go with the RK-3. But right now, the AK-74N in terms of recoil is the best what you can get. In my opinion, it is also very, very good because let's check out what do you need. So this build will cost you roughly 100k, but of course you need the weapon, you need the 60 round or 30 round magazine, and of course you need a tactical light and sights. But the basic build will cost you, as I said, roughly 100k. So the ammunition, in my opinion, you have two options. The first one is BS, which I'm going for all the time. I tried Egolnik and in my opinion Egolnik is pretty good, but it feels like the opponents are taking too much shots. That's why I'm running the AK with BS. BS, in my opinion, you can pen level 5 quite easily and that's enough for me in the first place, especially with an AK, but I like BS a lot and that's why I am going with my AKs with BS ammunition. So let's talk about the recoil as always first round without any recoil control. And the second round with some proper recoil control. So as I said earlier, the 650 rounds are a little bit a downside of AKs in escape, in escape from Tarkov right now. But you can take a benefit out of this low RPM and your recoil is very easy to control. We have only 55 vertical or 58 vertical recoil if you play with the shift grip and that means you can handle the recoil quite well. But of course it's worse compared to some M4s, 416 vectors and all of that stuff. So what is the result of the best 545 AK build in Escape from Tarkov right now? In my opinion it is pretty decent because the parts are way cheaper compared to some M4, M1 and all of that stuff. And in my opinion it's also very interesting playing AKs because your play style is a little bit different. Yes, your RPM is a little bit lower, but as I said, you can control this weapon quite well. I would say if you are interested in playing AKs, you can go for it. Especially right now, the early and mid-tier builds are very cheap and can be very effective with the right ammunition. But of course, M4s are still better. And that's why it would be very nice if we get some modern AKs and escape from Tarkov, because I think if we have them in this game, AKs could be 
very brutal. Are AKs in the top three meta weapons? Unfortunately not, but they are decent. They can compete against some M4s and they are fun. They look good. And right now I'm really interested about your opinion. Write a comment in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like this video because we Germans want to win at least something. And if it's your like for this video, I would really appreciate it. See you in the next video.